But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Have you ever read The Lusty Argonian Maid? It sounds like my kind of book. What? Just because I'm female doesn't mean I can't enjoy a nice classy piece of literature? I've heard it's quite intellectually stimulating. Actually, I just heard it was stimulating. Although I don't think it was the intellectual kind. Yes. Fine. Let me get killed. Oh, don't worry. I can handle myself. Let me guess. Oh, thank goodness it's you. I thought you were a stalker. No offense. Great. Another ambitious visitor. You think you can just wander in here and join us? You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. I've got nothing against them. But for me, the promise of coin is what heats my brain. Wherever someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. There are always good reasons to fight. I just wish this war had them. 
Who cares who worships what dead god? Give me something to make me draw my sword. To hear Farkas tell it, our father raised us here as happy pups, running around, biting knees. I love my brother, but his brains are not his strong suit. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. I don't know if you're capable, and I don't have time to find out. If Kodlak will vouch for you, I might have some work you could do. Until next time. A stranger comes to our hall. Your question carries more weight than you may know, you The sort of thing some of us spend our lives with. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. I try to hold us to the right path. Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Azkar, found me in Hemelfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. When he brought me back here, I realized I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, girl. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master. You're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. I love but teasing guys. After I went I've bear hunting one day, I asked the hunter if he wanted to see my bear chest. The come to I showed him the pelt of the bear I just killed and pointed to its chest. Oh, you should... What Let's not hang around the then. And there are. Of course. How are you in battle? That's the spirit. Vilkis here will get started on that. Vilkis, take her out to the yard and see what she can do. Aye. for a better welcome than this, but as much as I hate to say it, warts aren't always the most welcoming of people, and it's as good a welcome as I usually get. What are you doing that for? The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. I'd be dead if not for Don't Big North. Don't worry, I can he took take me in and helped me turn my life around. Farewell, my dear. Bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a wealth to us, but 
So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Jorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. You're a talkative one, aren't you? I had a bad time a few years back. I turned to drink. Vignar. He wouldn't let me stay weak. To hear Vignar tell it, not to lay about some useless miners who used to know how to fight. He thinks everything used to be better. I, for one, would trust any companion of my life. Oh, I'm not a companion myself. I just helped Vignar. He took me in when I was having a tough time and. Well, I owe him. Take care. What brings you here? I'm guessing you're the newcomer. Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. I have a favor to ask. I've been working on a shield for Aeolum. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aeola for me. Done. Get my sword sharpened, deliver this shield. I know most people have to work their way up from the bottom, but the servants get treated better than us. I think Filkus is a bit upset, though, about not being able to handle a beating from you. I suppose you have another question? Mm-hmm. I hear you have spirit. This is good. You may yet join our numbers. I haven't seen Watch your trade what you're before. Doing. Watching. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw her training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite the thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Ah, a woman who lets her actions speak for her. I knew there was something I liked about you. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas? Did you call me? Of course we did, Icebrain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Be careful. Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. He's I can't keep helping you with everything. He wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around Skor here. Skor and Ayala like to tease me. But they're good people. They challenge Skyrim us might to be, be a cool best. place with miserable people, but after a few drinks, you don't really right. notice. It gets boring here sometimes. Speaking of which, I'm getting a little thirsty. This can be a rough life. I'm the waiting. Are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Delma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions.
By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. Nothing but a bunch of lonely bandits. Cowards who will take little effort. I knew you could be counted on. Do what must be done. Skior says that I have the strength of Ysgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Ah, oh, great. Finally we got to do something you signed up for. Beating someone senseless. I was the newest companion until you it's came It's a shame along. we can't kill them, I guess that's okay. maybe they don't deserve it. I can show you We've <laughs> always got the bandits for oh, practice. Oh, hey there. I killed a bear yesterday. Did you kill anything? So much. This group, this family, this band. This is the best thing I've ever been a part of. The oldest fighting group in Skyrim, and nothing but glory from East Grimoire's day to our own. To be counted in that line is a bit of immortality. Even if I never see Sovngarde, I'll have that much. Mm-hmm. What is it? Need something? I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. Just because you've been accepted here so quickly, don't think I'm gonna help you rise any faster. Fight well, don't be a lout, and you'll be fine. You don't need my help. Now, if you'll excuse me. The latest recruit, right? Wait, is that right? It means when I have troubles, I always have someone on my side. We have shield siblings to keep our backs as dangerous as our fronts. I think. Until next time. I never thought they would actually let me join the Companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. It means signing on for the Nord ideas of how to live your life. Honor, battle, glory, all that. Even an elf can be born with the heart of a Nord, Skior said when I joined. I think he meant it as a compliment. To me, it means not having to answer foolish questions a second time. Mm-hmm. Yes?
Watch what you're doing. You still need to prove yourself, Welp. I wish more of our ranks asked such questions. I've started seeing the Companions as a kind of family. I've battled next to every man and woman here, and the bonds of sweat are stronger than those of blood. I would trust anyone here with my life, which is more than I'd say for the milk drinkers who raised me. Mm -hmm. Come to me with questions. What brings you to me? There's been a group called the Companions for over 4,000 years. It's been many different things at that time. A conquering army, ruthless mercenaries, a band of drunken louts, and the esteemed company you see before you. But there's always been a kind of honor to it. We don't deal in politics or underhanded sneaking. We try to uphold the legacy of Ysgramor, to bear his good name such that it never be forgotten, and always be spoken.